Hi everyone, it's Angelina the Psychic and welcome to Twin Flame Forecast. Every Monday, 6 o'clock, I'm on and I, I do a reading for the Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines um, for everyone that's on the Twin Flame um, journey. It's always a pleasure and an honor to be able to do this and um, and I always thank, you know, Spiritual Events Directory to be able to, you know, provide this space, you know, for us to be able to have these informations every single week. Um, I'm also on um, Thursdays at 3 o'clock to be able to do a collective, you know, energy read, you know, about the four, um, upcoming weeks and everybody, hi everyone. Um, so, um, so I try to do as much as I can when it comes to, you know, helping you out to be able to have support and everything. Hello, everyone. Welcome, 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 beautiful people. Welcome. And um, and so for for me, it's you know I try to use as much um, you know information that I can. Um, spirit, you know, channels information to me every single day and all the time. And sometimes, you know, um, it just it's a build up, isn't it? Until the next Monday, you know, um, for me to do it. Everybody that follows me always used to get, um, you know, um, spirit always, you know, downloads, you know, kind of information and everything, you know, to me during the week. But I usually try to put out as much as information. So watch my posts, the songs that are put up. You know, they're all messages, you know, to each other, to you and your divine masculine, divine feminine. This is a collective reading, a general collective reading. Um, so the reading that I am providing for you is free because this is a collective reading. Take what resonates, see what messages spirit, you know, does give to you. Um, you know, for, for a personal reading for, for yourself, please, you know, contact Spiritual Events Directory. And, um, and we can, you know, see, you know, um, what dates and times are available for you. Um, and, you know, just follow me on my things and um, share and like my things. I always forget about that. I also want to say thank you so much for everyone's support. Everybody has been absolutely amazing. You guys are amazing, beautiful souls, always supporting me, always, you know, um, you know, going through the journey um, together. It's been amazing. Also, the psychic development class that I have. So if anybody's interested too, just ask Spiritual Events Directory. Um, we've been doing such amazing things too. So the psychic development class that we've been doing lately has been so amazing so one of the i was so drawn to do a big clearing on the divine masculine so those that did my class um had a great experience um you know and everybody you know gets to um because you know i do teach you know certain tools and everything but then from you know once in a while um we do really big work you know on meditations and clearings and um especially uh, for those that do um uh, yeah amy amy's in my class um, so much, you know, um, benefits too and shift, you know, so a lot of those that are in, in it have had contact with their divine masculine. Um, there is movement forward, you know, going around. Veronica is in my class too. Love you guys. And um, so they've been going through quite a lot of shifts and movement forward, you know. And the thing is too, it's like um, everybody has their cycle, right? So just contact Spiritual Events Directory if you want a personal reading with me. And um, no questions, the general reading um, on on the top, you know, um, when you, you click on to, to do my live, I, I usually say it's a general collective reading. So um, Spiritual Events should be putting up the information very soon um, so you can know where to contact. It's on Facebook. Okay, so let's start looking at and thinking about the person that you're thinking about. So everybody that is here, so it doesn't matter the time frame that you actually look at this. Um, just think about your person, their name, you know. And um, so this is about the energies. So divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy. Okay. So the person that you're thinking of, take what resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, then that's okay. Then that's not for you. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. You had contact. You had contact. You need to embrace that. You had contact. Some people have no contact. You had contact. That was a shift. That means there was a shift with you. 
you know that is where you your mind has to say the rest of it cancel and delete it so you have contact the rest of the words cancel and delete it you know the now nothing you just put it out there and now nothing so you need to say, I had contact and I'm so grateful to the universe. That means I did a shift within myself and in my mind. That's where you need to hold it. You know, hold that. You know, you know, one of the messages that I was just talking to somebody about um, this week was that, um, you know, your words are prayers. And I've said this so many times. I'm going to be like a broken record. But it's like until everybody sort of like um, embraces this about yourself, you know, you have to sort of like watch your words, watch your thoughts, watch your words. Thank you, universe. That's how it is, Renee. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so what is the current energy of Divine Masculine at the moment? Like what in this present moment is, is he up to? Like what's going on for him? So let's look at that. What is going on for Divine Masculine at this current present moment? Like where is he at? Okay, and then we'll look at how he is with you. Okay, where is Divine Masculine at at this present moment? Okay, all right, so where is Divine Feminine at this present moment? Where is Divine Feminine at this present moment? Where is Divine Feminine at this present moment? So I want to see where Divine Masculine's thoughts are about you. What is he thinking of? Okay. What is Divine Masculine thinking about you? Holy crap. What is Divine Feminine's thoughts of Divine Masculine? Okay. All right. So, and what are Divine Masculine's feelings? So everybody knows that how I work, I just throw it out first and then I start talking and then start looking at things for everyone. Okay. What are divine masculine's feeling? What is divine feminine's feelings for divine masculine? Okay. So, and the last one is what actions is he going to take towards his divine feminine? What actions is he going to take towards his divine feminine? What action is Divine Feminine going to take towards her Divine Masculine? And then I just want some clarifiers. Okay. Like all the mirroring energy that everybody has towards each other. This is really funny. Okay, so where's the ad? Yeah. Nearly there, guys. Sorry. I just want to get as much information as I can so I can just not stop. Okay.
Okay. Alrighty then. Let's have a look at this. All right, so where, where he's at at the moment, so the Divine Masculine's current energy at this moment. So I just see them working very um, hard. Working very hard, you know, concentrating. So a lot of them are trying to get their financial things going. I kind of feel like this is usually an air sign, okay, but this is about them being in their logical mind. I kind of think that they're trying to not be in their mind about things that, like they used to do before. Before they used to think about things way too much, like a lot, like, you know, maybe was doing their head in heaps. I kind of feel like maybe they're trying to find some strength and courage when it comes to love, um, a little bit of self-discipline, I feel, that is going on. Um, I still feel like some of them are still hurt, maybe about maybe some things that have been said or been done. And, you know, struggling really, really a lot with this. It's sort of like, you know, fighting with his own self. I see like a, like a fight be between himself and himself, you know, at this moment. So there's been past hurt. There's been past, you know, not coming out of the cave. You're not, not getting out of the cave. You know, like they're still maybe like halfway in the cave, you know, maybe nearly about to come out, you know, some of them. But I kind of feel like, you know, they're trying to keep their frustrations in, you know. Okay. They're actually tapping in a little bit more to their divine feminine energy. They're tapping into their emotions. Okay. Tapping in more into their emotions, you know. Maybe fantasizing a little bit more too, you know. So they're... They're very much in their emotions, you know, maybe before they weren't looking at their emotions and that. So they're looking at that, okay? This person has always been about family, but I feel like family maybe at this point is just not, you know, something that they're looking at. So it could be their own close family. You know, like mother, father, you know, or, you know, or their family that, you know, it's like if they have a wife or something like that. I kind of feel like at this moment, this person is, you know, uh, putting certain things aside, which is really good because before it was just like, you know, a lot. I feel like at this moment, some of them are having thing, you know, like some type of you know, like, I feel like, honestly, like, I feel like maybe this person has a little bit of conflict with their own mother, okay? Maybe they, maybe they don't get along well with their mother, maybe they don't see eye to eye to with their mother. This is about a mother figure. Yeah. And I kind of feel like maybe they're reviewing this. Ooh, they're reviewing this when it comes to their mother about... You know, they're using their intuition when it comes to maybe things that, that she has said when, when he was younger. Does that make sense? It says, the three of fire, we've got the three of fire. It is about abundance, things, things looking very good, having patience at this time and making long-term plans. I've said this quite a bit for the collective. That I felt like, you know, Divine Masculine making plans for the future. Might not look like it, might not look like he's doing with everything, but I kind of feel like, you know, there's long-term plans. There's transformation happening. So I kind of see, see him actually sitting, could be sitting looking at the water, sitting, you know, looking at the mountains, looking, you know, or sitting in his backyard or something. Or just sitting there and really conversing with spirit you know really having a look at things and going what do i want you know i'm looking at the future i'm looking at things you know now 
making a wish. This is where he's at at the moment. He's making a wish, trying to wish for his life and everything else too. I, I do feel like he, he sabotages himself, right? So for him, he is, um, you know, thinking about the worst, you know, the worst things that could happen, expecting the worst. So if this person has plans on coming coming out of the cave and actually coming towards you, he's actually, you know, not sleeping very well. Um, maybe when everybody else is asleep, he's up, you know, he's up and he's thinking. You know, maybe when, when everybody else is just, you know, completely fast asleep, he, he sits up and he all he does is, you know, um, think and fantasize and um, look at, you know, the possibilities of everything. But he usually goes to um, the whole entire time of the worst case scenario, the worst case scenario with everything. Worst case scenario, you know, it's just, oh, you know, full of, you know, and that's what you know, delays him. Actually, he takes two steps forward and then he thinks about everything that's worse and then just goes, you know, backwards. It's like maybe he's going to think about texting you and then thinks about, oh, my God, you know, maybe she's going to tell me off. Maybe she's not going to pick up. Maybe she's not going to, maybe she, she doesn't love me anymore. You know, it's like, you know, that, that was, you know, like how long ago, how many months ago, how many weeks ago. How many years ago was this, you know, and, you know, that offer might not be there anymore. So he's just thinking about the worst case scenario. It's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm stupid. You know, I'm stupid to think that she still wants me. I'm stupid to think that, you know, she, 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 you know, she could want me, you know. Um, I put up, you know, because um, Spirit is showing me about this, the worst case scenario. Um, worst case scenario. Why did I say that? The grey and grey and anatomy. How do you say it? Grey anatomy. The that show. And it was the couple, and the girl was sort of like, because I never really watched it. It just came up on my YouTube, and I looked at it, and then I looked at the whole entire series, and what it was, it was spirit um, showing me about these two people that you know, you know, came together and. He was so afraid of actually taking a chance with her because he thought he wasn't a good person. He thought that she was just lovely and, and good and everything. And if he came into her life, he would just wreck it. You know, he would just wreck her life. Um, so the thing is that, you know, he was never about commitment, you know, kind of a bit of a playboy, you know, just all, you know, like, you know, Casanova kind of a guy and everything, never wanted to commit and everything else. But then the thing is that, you know, coming through it, it you know, he realized how much he loved her and that she was different and she started to heal him and made him see about the beautiful part of him, you know. Um, so the thing is that, you know, I put that up, you know, too, because Spirit, you know, showed, showed me with that. Okay, so let's look at Divine Feminine and where she's at. Where are you at? Okay, I kind of feel, you know, um, dreams of the past. Okay, thinking about the past, thinking about memories, maybe, um, you know, fantasizing about the, the, the past, maybe reviewing things, you know. Um, Okay, cool. Um, I'm just reading what somebody wrote. So it was about the past, you know, and maybe reviewing everything. Like if this is even possible. So Divine Feminine, this is where you're at. So if any Divine Masculines are listening, yes, it is. It's a Twin Flame um, collective reading. Okay. So I just see everybody sort of like thinking about this. Moving forward, Divine Feminine is moving forward, better energy, more positive, um, you know, or, you know, Divine Feminine um, having her faith, you know, keeping her faith that, you know, things are going to work out, knowing, you know, that, you know, she can have what she wants, you know, understanding, you know, that um, Divine Feminines are thinking, you know, to themselves, you know, um, just, you know, renewed trust, you know, maybe you were doubting the connection, doubting that you will be together, 
doubting everything because you know you can't see certain things in front of you but the thing is this right so the creator exists and you can't see it you know um you know the the universal law of attraction exists and you can't see it you know unless it um, when you start believing then it comes um you know it is one of those things that you know it's about a test of faith you know in this lifetime so it's not um everything you see in the 3d to believe but you know it's about testing your knowing Okay, so Divine Feminine having a new uh, movement forward. So the wheel is turning because you ha stopped it for a little while. Um, absolute, you know, uh, worried about time, 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 time. When is the time that you two are going to be together in this hyperventilating anxiety? You know, the time's gone by, the years have gone by. Um, and, you know, where the heck is it, you know? Um, and we cannot afford to be thinking that way about the Divine Masculine and or the Divine Feminine, okay? You do not say bad things about the person that you love, okay? It's like you cannot speak bad about the other person. You have to, you know, um, always say the great qualities and why you love them, okay? Not about, you know, putting this negative neg negativity on the other person, because it's like if you're negative to your twin flame, which is the mirror of yourself, okay, it is you talking about about yourself. It is you talking about the divine, about the creator of, what, of everything, about God. It is you, you know, criti criticizing. At the end of the day, this journey is about you realizing that, you know, to have compassion for another human being to have understanding, not everything is black and white. The truth reveals later on, okay, and then you look at yourself and go far out. You know, the perception I had about this person the whole freaking time when I knew deep down inside that it was just, it wasn't even true. Do you understand? So it is divine feminine forgetting about and accepting, you know, certain things. I do feel like a lot of you are, have been in heartache um, so Divine Feminine's um, looking at that maybe there might be like a third party, you know, involvement in here, okay? So whether it is your Divine Masculine, you know, um, choosing, you know, another partner or your Divine Masculine, um, you know, choosing his family or friends or religion or, you know, his work or, you know, um, or country over you, it is a third thing. It is, you, you're, you're the other choice, okay? Um, so Divine Feminine, you know, had been in very much in her heartache, you know, with this, you know, like an absolute pain um, and conflict within herself for the separation, you know, don't, masculines don't think that Divine Feminine, you know, just because she's a fighter, just because she's a warrior, just because she's strong, that she did not suffer, you know, Divine Feminines have suffered so much with the separation, okay? The separation. Okay, so accepting the union, okay? So this is the Four of Wands, 11-11. This is, you know, it says contentment, peace, and abundance. You know, a, a happy um, home life. Divine Feminine being happy with herself, okay? It is um, a general collective reading for everyone, okay? Divine Feminines, okay, being more wise, you know, with their choices. Um, Divine Feminine, you know, choosing happiness, to be happy with herself, to be happy within herself, to be able to ha have a happy life, to be able to project this and bring this in like a magnet, everything that you want, okay? So Divine Feminines are doing this. This is where you your goal is where that's where you want to achieve things at this moment okay so once again you take in charge victory you take in charge of things this is where you're at when it comes to work when it comes to love when it comes to your home when it comes to reviewing everything you've got control of your chariot this is good. This is good. Divine Feminines, go. Go, 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 go. Looking at the good and the bad of things and, and looking at your perception changing. It's like maybe I've been looking at things in a different way. Maybe the way that I've been looking at life and other people has been in a different way. 
maybe I've been reviewing everyone and everything. So if a lot of you has gone quiet and everybody has been more withdrawn and everything else, this has been the time the spirits put you into quiet mode. Look at things, look at people, look at friends, look at family, look at your work, look at everything and say, what is good for me and what's not? Why? Because you're getting ready. You're getting ready to bring somebody else into your life. You are. Justice. Divine Feminine believing that there is no justice for her at this moment. You know, she just can't see it. Cannot see justice for herself at the moment. You know, everything, ha you know, has been against her. Okay? And she wants and demands justice. She wants justice to clear her name. I say damn straight. You know, clear her name if there's been anybody that has talked bad about her or anybody that has gone against her and everything else. Archangel Michael stepping in and going, don't you worry about this because I'm going to take care of this. You know? Let's clear this banana crab up. Don't don't worry, because you know, you're protected and loved. You're so protected and loved. You know, the creator loves you. Okay, you've done so much good in this lifetime. The creator loves you. Okay, so you are protected and loved, and you know, you're the one that's doing so much work. You know, keep on going, keep on going. Okay, so what is Divine Masculine's thought about you at the moment? Okay. Feeling like he needs to have a little bit of courage. So he is in his spiritual cave, I told you. Like, so from, the, from where he's at, he's nearly at the door of the cave. Uh, but he is not all the way out. Okay? Um, I say thank God. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. You know, well done, Divine Masculines. Well done. Okay, I know it's scary. I know it's hard. The unknown is so hard. It's so hard, isn't it? Okay, but the thing is that you can do it. You can do this, Divine Masculines. Okay? You know, what are you going to say to yourself when you are 90 years old? What would you say to yourself when you are old? Did you do everything that you wanted? Did you love? Did you, What did you do to have the love of your life? You had the love of your life and then what? You settled for things because of others? And then others did whatever the hell they did and maybe worse things that you could ever think of. Okay? It's like, oh no, I better not divorce or I better not... You know, go against my family. I better not go against my religion. I better not go against everything else. And then, boom, the person that you least think that would actually, honestly, go, they, they, they must probably judge you the most, would be the worst person ever. Okay, they go and they do like a 180 and then and do, do something worse than you could ever think of. You go, holy crap. Holy crap. Do you know? It's like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, sometimes the thing that you fear the most is the thing that you want that and you want the most is the thing that you need to go for. And then you'll be wondering, why did I ever think this? Why did I take my time? He wants this to end. He wants this pain and like there's a barrier between you. And, and him. There's a barrier between you and him that, you know, you cannot talk to each other or the communication isn't great. He's in his head and he's thinking about all these people that are talking, blah, 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 blah. You know? Okay. He wants a new future. He wants, I just saw this, he wants to be that angel that says enough because he can see that you're not okay. Okay? He can see that you're not okay. He wants to be that, but he's waiting for the sun. See the sun in the background? He's waiting for the sun to grow, to come up. That's his energy. Okay? He's waiting for that to come up. 
he wants another he wants another you know um cycle with you he's in his head he's afraid of the truth to come out of what he wants he wants to travel but he doesn't know how and he knows what he wants i feel this card even though it's it's him you know very much in his head about certain things there's still a lot of you know a love and passion here but i do feel him knowing what he wants he knows what he wants He knows what he wants. This is Divine Masculine's, his thoughts. He would like harmony between the both of you. Even if you could get to that stage. Harmony, you know, that I can talk to you. Okay? Okay. Okay. So he wants a new chapter. And that's what his thoughts are. You know, his review and all the past, conversations that you've had, everything... So he goes back into his mind, you know, back into this cave. I feel like he's look, he's trying to look at only the positive things between these two So because he, he wants to get out of his head. I just do feel like a beautiful, beautiful new... Um, he's waiting for a, an opportunity. Okay, we've got the king of earth. Okay. He wants honestly a new opportunity because things are going good for him when it comes to work so he's trying to see you know um he's trying to see you know the changes and everything what he can offer he's also very aware of time okay okay he's very aware of time Okay, so I just see rainbow energy with this. Okay, so let's go to the Divine Feminines and what their thoughts about when it comes to Divine Masculine, okay? I kind of feel like um, when it comes to Divine Feminines, when it comes to the Divine Masculine, there's a big confusion. I'm confused. I'm, I'm confused about you. Um got nothing to do with not loving okay because I, I do know that divine feminines love divine masculine so divine feminines is very much about worried about her age time okay the time that has gone by uh plans about moving forward um also you know a lot of you divine feminines have not been well been sick you know, so this worrying about both of you has also been very much um, made you in your anxiety, maybe depression, you know, feeling very, very down, not knowing which way to go and everything. So this is just you in your confusion, you know, you know, um, You know, you so want this, you know, cycle to finish you. It's like, it's like, what do I do? Do I move on? What do I do? I feel like Divine Feminines, when it comes to her thoughts, you know, with Divine Masculine, she, she wants him to acknowledge her. Acknowledge, you know, the, the connection between the both of you. You know, acknowledge, you know, what is, you know, you know, just, I just want to start this. Can we start this already? You know, I just want you to realize the prize that you have, the acknowledgement of this, you know, union together with the both of you. I see you both, you know, being, you know, your thoughts is you're manifesting, you know, him. Okay. You know, Divine Feminine has an offer for Divine Masculine. Divine Feminines want to offer Divine um masculine you know you know love and care um gentleness nurturing you know um passion she wants to she wants to offer so much to him 
you know, uh, for her, you know, she's been working on her work, you know, to be able to do it for the both of you, you know, for the divine feminines, for the divine masculines, like I'm working on everything that I can possible in this for now to be able to honestly move forward, okay, so to be able to uh, to set the, the foundation at this moment for everyone, that is what this is for, okay, and that's what this is for, okay, so let's look at one masculine again, okay, so what um, is his feelings, okay, so what are his feelings at this moment? Um, so some of them are quite quiet. They're quiet. They're maybe a little bit, you know, withdrawn. Ah, thank you, Sarah. So information is just the spiritual events directory. Just put up um, information for those that have been asking for personal uh, readings from me. Um, so Divine Masculine has gone quiet. It's gone, you know, withdrawn. Um, and I kind of feel like maybe... He feels that you're withdrawn to. So maybe you've gone quiet, you've been withdrawn to, um, you know, and he feels like he has to um, really build up strength, you know, to be able to talk to you because the thing is that he, he feels like, I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to say to me. If I, if I start talking to you like normally, um, I really don't know what to say, you know, I kind of feel like, you know, he has gone through a lot of mountains, their, their spirit's pointing the mountains to me, so it's a lot of mountains, a lot of hurdles to get to this place, so the journey has been very, very, very long, you know, for, for him, okay, and he is now sitting and he is thinking, how do I build up strength to get this to the next stage? Okay. Just how? Okay. So he is he's trying to seek some um, answers at the moment. So he's going within himself. Perfect. Hello, everyone. I feel like... He feels that you're actually quite spiritually knowledgeable, you know, like you're a wise person, you know. I kind of feel like, you know, he finds comfort within you. So he, he feels like, you know, he he really feels like he he um, honestly um, can get certain answers from you. So maybe some of them might be thinking about reaching out to you about trying to know about certain things, you know, spiritually. He's not as confused as he was as before. He's not as confused as he was before. Let me just ask more questions here. Yeah, so seven, it's the seventh house. It's him, you know, going, um, you know, thinking about uh, long-term, you know, partners, you know, and everything else too. So he's he's thinking before he was confused. I think that some of them are feeling lost. Maybe they feel that they've lost you. Maybe they feel like maybe the chance is gone. Maybe he feels like, you know, regret because, you know, he's walked away. So there's been loss, you know. I'm not the same. Look, this person is not okay. This person is not all right. This person um, might have been going through some depression himself. Okay, so I feel like this person is depressed and not himself. Um, mm, not taking care of himself very well. He disguises the way that he looks very, very well. Maybe he's smiling in front of everybody else inside. You know, he's just not, like what I said before too, he's very much in his mind, stays up, you know, when other people have gone to sleep, he's overthinking, he's just, he's just not himself, okay? He knows that if he does not take a decision, he's feeling this towards you, he knows if he doesn't take a, 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 a decision soon, that, you know, this will be just, maybe just fantasy. This will just be, you know, um, the person I've always wished for, the, the one that got away, you know, um, my dream person, my dream girl and everything else. But, you know, maybe um, if I don't do this, this will just be one of those other things that I've wanted and never, you know, been able to uh, achieve or get. 
keep on like I said, I keep on feeling he's waiting for an opportunity. He's waiting for an opportunity. I've got the ace of fire, okay? So this is a very passionate kind of person, kind of, kind of charming, you know, kind of guy. Um, he's feeling like he just wants to come in, you know, and change things, okay? He's looking for an exciting new opportunity with you. It's good. He's not as confused as before. He's nearly out of the cave. He knows that he has to take the opportunity soon. I'm liking this very much. Okay, Divine Feminines. Okay, so how are you feeling towards your Divine Masculine? Okay. Your... When it comes to your feelings towards him, towards divine masculine, your emotions have been up and down. That's natural. Um, you just want a new beginning with him. Divine masculines, this is how big her love is for you. This is her offer to you. She offers that to you. She wants a new beginning the, from zero. Zero. From zero. Okay, nothing happened in the past, whatever to that. Okay, she, Divine Feminine is feeling like he's not stepping up into his emperor mode. He is not uh, offering her things, you know. She wants him to step into this emperor mode and just, you know, come in and offer things like that. I kind of feel like, she, you know, Divine Feminine feels that she has to be very careful how she says things to him, how she puts things to him. Um, okay. I kind of feel like you, you're you very confused about what the next steps are and the unknown, okay? So like, for example, if Divine Masculine doesn't come forward, it's like, what what's going to happen when you... Because you know that your feelings towards him and if he doesn't come forward, it's like, you know, well then, you know, what on earth could be out there through that door? Um, is it just death, you know, because it's like... You're trying to stick to your your intuition. See how your cloak is just purple and you're only thinking about your intuition at this moment. You're still walking through. You're going to still walk through the door and still have your faith. But see how the moon is out? You're still very confused and very much in your mind. See all the swords here? It's very heavy. It's like you're very much in your mind still, you know, walking through. Very through. I see you feeling like, you know, you will be victorious. So you're knowing your intuition, like in that card, is trying to tell you to keep on moving forward because you will be victorious, you know, out of this. Um, I, like I said, there's a lot of anxiety um, about this connection. Um, maybe feeling guilty about the past, maybe how you reacted, how you went about things, maybe what you said, um, you know... And a lot of you is, you know, because of all that, you know, you, you've got, maybe you're not gotten not well. So, okay, so this is the thing that is going on about that. You know, facing limitations. My card is so old. Facing limitations, facing that, um, you know, you know, that everything has its divine timing and purpose, you know, through this. Feeling like you're stagnant, that this relationship is actually stagnant at the moment. It's not moving forward anywhere. So divine feminines, like you are all like so much in your head about everything. And you stick into your knowing. Okay. Just stick into your knowing. Your knowing. You're the high priestess. You're the spiritual one. 
you're the one that has the knowing. You don't have to see something to know it, to believe it. You know, you're the one that is here to evolve, to grow, um, you know, to learn your powers, your, your abilities in this. You are here for this, okay? So one feminine knows that there is more behind than what she sees. There could be secrets, she knows it. She, you know, there could be things and she's aware of, um, so it's like this, it's like divine masculine, ugh, divine masculine, uh, I don't even know how to speak, divine masculine, if you are afraid of stepping forward because you think that, you know, okay, but, you know, you know, she doesn't know that I have an illness or she doesn't know that, you know, you know, I, I, I did something, you know, with drugs or, or she doesn't know, you know, my lifestyle. She doesn't know, but when I tell her, she's just going to be um, upset with me or she's not going to take me or she's not going to accept that past of me. Um, the thing is that Divine Feminine loves you, the good and the bad, the good and the bad. Do you understand? Divine Feminine loves your soul and loves you and knows the potential that you can have, right? So um, whatever secrets that need to be, you know, coming out and that you have to talk between each other, um, be safe and be aware that this person absolutely loves you to death, okay? And you're in a safe spot. You can say whatever you want. She will love you. She will love you. She will love you unconditionally. Um, with it, okay? Um, you know? So the divine, a feminine feeling like that, you know, she wants to take this relationship between you and her to an, a new level, okay? So if there's no communication, she wants communication. If you are together, she wants the commitment part of it. If, you know, um, this relationship has to go into a different level, okay? It has to be like that, okay? That the, it's the ace of water. So Divine Feminine wants, you know, Divine Masculine to know, okay, that her intuition is increasing and developing and moving more forward, okay? Divine Feminine can feel things you know, um, in a much deeper level now, okay, so she's much more aware, you know, she wants this, you know, cup of love that she has for you, for Divine Masculine, to get into a new stage, right, that's enough, you know, it's like we've, you know, paid our karma already enough, you know, to be, you know, all the time apart, and she is more in control of what it is that she actually wants, um, I kind of feel like she is feeling like the she the way she feels about you is that she knows you're compassionate. She knows this. She knows that um, she wants you to open your heart a little bit more um, to her and your mind, your heart and your mind, um, and you know to see you know and trust her. Trust you know that you know she has you know um, even some valuable advice you know for you. Okay. 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 And more clarity for him. More clarity for him. Okay, so the last one is about actions towards you. I kind of feel like I said, I feel like He's working on his work, he's working on his pentacles, he's working, you know, business um, to make sure that he can offer you something, okay? I feel like um, if this person has not come forward, he has a project about moving forward, okay? I kind of feel like, you know, he, for him, for him, you know, this is a stubborn person, you know, this is a very stubborn man, okay? Um, but he will offer you everything that he's got, okay? So for him, um, I do see him leaving certain people behind. 
I kind of feel like um, he will offer you marriage. He will offer you commitment. This person wants something stable, okay? Okay? He wants something stable with you. You know, this is this is the best king, you know? He wants something stable with you. He doesn't want wishy-washy. He wants to do that. Um, like I said, you know, things are complicated. Things are not as simple as black and white as it is for the both of yous, you know, um, you know, to, you know, so much things have happened, okay, so this person is going to come out of his cave, he is going to see clarity, he knows that he wants you, okay, he is going to release, you know, all the negativity, so he, his action is that he's ready to get to the next phase of it of it all okay he's getting ready to move on he's ready to move he's getting ready to move on like i said i kind of feel like you know he's been uh you know thinking about work so maybe there's fears around money or something um It's hard for him to accept certain help from certain people. Um, but I just kind of feel like, you know, his action is about, you know, making sure that the foundation is all nice and secure. <laughs> uh, Manuela. Okay. And to find feminine's action. Divine Feminine's action towards Divine Masculine is having faith in the connection. She's put out as much manifestation prayers as she could out there. Look at that. Having faith. Does anybody know the time? Divine Feminine says to Divine Masculine, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. I can't breathe without you, I can't eat without you, I can't, you know, my life is not the same without you, you know, um, nobody compares to you, you know, I can see like a million men out there, a million guys going after me, and then what, you know, it's like nobody compares, nobody has your smile, nobody has your charisma, nobody has you, uh, everything. Your soul sings me a song that nobody else sings that song to me. Nobody else sings that song to me. You know, I listen to music all the time and, you know, so many times I hear your words to me. I hear you. I feel you. I see you everywhere. I see you everywhere. I see you down the streets. I see you in a movie. I pray to the universe every day, all the time. Please, you know, let's just, can we just be together now? You know, can you hear me? Can we just be together now? Divine Feminine's action towards Divine Masculine. I'm setting our foundation. I'm working my ass off for us. I am creating a life for us. You know? We've got a, a happy home, a happy family, but it'll be our way. Our way. Different, unique. Different and unique. It'll be our world, our rules, how we want it. 
if you got kids and I got kids, they'll be happy because we're happy and because we love them and we will teach them to be happy people, happy souls. That's it. And if people don't like it, if others don't like it, then we send them love and light. Love and light to them. And we pray that, you know, the, everybody else will be in harmony and in happiness because we'll be so happy. We'll be so happy that they'll be jealous of us. So we, we will pray that they can be as happy as we are. You see? Let me quickly, before I go, a message from Divine Masculines to you guys. You like that? Would you like that? Let's have a look at what he wants to say to you. Let me put these cards away. What he wants to say to you. Sorry, guys. Definitely. So much cards. Oh my gosh. So much cards. Hopefully everybody's, you know, receiving good messages from spirit. Like I said, take what resonates, beautiful souls, okay? Spirit gives, you know, as much information as they can. Okay, not everything has to resonate. That's why I put different scenarios for everyone. Okay, but just try to, um, you know, keep an open mind and, you know, pay attention to what Spirit's trying to tell you. Trying to tell you, you know, maybe not to worry about certain things. Ah, oh, thank you, Bianca. Thank you very much. <laughs> It is a dress. It's it's like a it's like a knee high dress actually. You know, I'm just saying. Okay, let's go divine masculine. Okay, so what's your message to divine masculine? Want to tell divine feminine? Let's go divine feminine. Okay. I just want to see if I can get one of, and get one of the books. What do you want to say? Love it. I'm so glad. Okay. Um, so his message to you, okay, is distant shores. Distant shores. Okay, there might be a distance between the both of you. So distant shores. Okay, I waited for dawn, not wanting to go, but knowing I soon would have to leave. I waited for, I waited for, um, blah, blah, blah. I waited for the first light listening, 
joining with you on each breath and each exhale. I watched as morning came and you gently stirred, knowing our love was not measured in time, not the minutes that quick passed, quickly passed or the hours as departure approached. How I wanted to linger, how I wanted to tell you that this moment would last forever and whisper one more time, I love you. And then you held me and said it for, uh, and said it first and goodbye no longer mattered. I kind of feel like So a lot of you have said goodbye to each other. If you, you know, travelled or went to one place to another, or you live apart, you know, it's like maybe the last time. It's sort of like, you know, saying goodbye to each other. It's sort of like. It was so, for me, it feels like really, really hard. And it just feels like, you know, you know that you knew that you can honestly, you knew that you will see each other again one day. You know, maybe not a long time, but hopefully, you know, it, you know, you will see each other again. I just feel that, you know, you you both love each other very much. Very, very, very much. So he just wanted to tell you that about the last time he saw you. Okay? Knowing that it wasn't the last time. Um, I kind of have this really worried look on his face. He wants unity. He wants unity with you. Okay? His traditional views, the way he was brought up, the way or methods, traditional methods or viewpoints and things like that. Looking, He's looking for someone to help him out for this next stage. There might be him, because he's concerned, he's worried, he's sad, he's sad, he's worried. I'm so, like, I'm, I'm very concerned here. I'm very, I'm very concerned here. I want unity. It's like, how can I, oof, how can, you know, it's hard to change. It's, it's hard to change. But if he doesn't change his thoughts and get somebody to help him, you know, see this point of view, it's like he'll go insane. He will go insane because it's like, how do I change this, you know, the way that I think this stuff. He's going to stop taking advice from others that no longer serve him, okay? I kind of feel like, you know, he's sort of like he's trying to gather his own thoughts. So, like, this is the person that he's talking, that he's looking to seek um, advice from. I kind of feel like it's a new person. It's somebody different. It's not, it's not maybe the people he's been talking to before. I kind of feel like maybe other people that he's talked to before aren't really good. So I kind of feel like maybe now he's gathering his thoughts and starting to walk away from, you know, um, all that that wasn't good for him. Okay. I kind of see him. So he's a knight of order. Okay. Knights of order. 
very much in his emotion, very much in love. You do something to him. You freaking bring me up and then you freaking bring me down. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, you you make my emotions go all over the place. I don't like feeling out of control. I don't like these nervous feelings. I don't like feeling intimidated. I don't, you, you challenge me, yet I feel like I have to go to you. Like I, I want to go to you. I need to go to you because I kind of feel like I've got all these romantic feelings that are like, you know, about to explode. You know, um, there's an enthusiasm about trying to start something and go to you because I know how it can be, you know. But at the same time, I just, you know, yeah, I kind of get very much lost into this, you know. I feel like um, he's been trying to um, balance out his emotion. There's some kind of invitation. I told you, there's an opportunity he's waiting for, uh, some kind of occasion or something for to make an excuse, you know, to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I like this very much. Um, there's a secret. He's telling you, Divine Feminine. He has, he wants to speak his truth to you. So if he hasn't told you, I love you, then, ah. Uh. So I put up on my page, for those that follow my page, I put up on my page um, that there's this witch and this vampire that fall in love, right? And she helps him, um, you know find love and everything else and he helps her develop her own uh, abilities you know uh, you know you know and this will resonate with all the psychics and all the healers that are out there all the light workers and that it's because they actually bring out our abilities and that have been dormant for such a long time because we try to help them out and try to heal them and everything else too so that show that i'm talking about um she, she says to him, say it, just say it. And he says, if I say it, that means that you and I are one forever. There is no turning back. There is no turning back after this. If I come to you and I tell you, okay, that I love you, there's no going back. And they hold hands and he says, I love you. And we are one forever. Do you understand? He was afraid. He was afraid. The discovery of witches. Yes. Boom. That's the show. Oh, my God. I love it. So it is so beautiful. So beautiful. But do, do you understand? It's like he doesn't think that he's good, you know, like a good, you know, um, person, you know, because he's a vampire. And with her, you know, she has got all this, you know, um, abilities that she doesn't even know about. Oh, my gosh, you know. And like I said to this before, you, Divine Masculine, don't have nothing to fear before this you know don't be afraid you know of your divine feminine because your divine feminine is just got pure love for you i know you never ever have experienced that before it's like fucking how how can she love me how can she love me i treated her like shit you know i i, I ignored her i blocked her i didn't talk to her I freaking took everybody else's side over her, you know, I, 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 you know, I told her to get lost, don't, don't, nothing, do you know what I mean, okay, and deep down inside, you know, it's like that, you know, the discovery of witches, he runs away, he goes away, and when he goes away, she, what does she do, she cried, she cried so much that, you know, the, the, the heavens started to cry, like, like, the sky started crying, like, it was it started to pour down because like you know with every drop that she did you know it was you know just pouring down because he left her 
okay? But the thing is that speak the truth to her and she, you would be surprised. She understands. She, she loves the unconditional. She loves you, the good and the, the good and the bad. The good and the bad. I'm trying to hurry up. Sorry, the spirit is like, blah, 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 you know, on this. He made an unwise decision. He made an unwise decision. And he's sorry for it. He is imagining a doorway to open to get to you. I am trying to manifest a way, an opportunity, somehow to get to you. I'm trying to find the key to your heart. I'm trying to find how to get to you. He wants Spirit to show him the way. Spirit, show me the way because I don't know how. I, it just seems impossible to get to her now. There's an opportunity coming. But you have to allow it to happen. Meaning divine feminine, you need to let it happen. Don't think that things are over when spirit is telling you, you know, it's coming. Is it, is it, you know, you know, that's the thing. You're the one that has to allow it to happen. And it's really interesting how people are saying they're shutting the door, it's over, yet you're watching. I'm just saying. So it's, it's like you still care, you still love them. I'm just saying. Because otherwise you wouldn't, you, you haven't shut that door. You're like, oh, I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the door. It's like you know, but you haven't really. Yeah. So if he comes, then allow him to speak, and give him the space and get, hold space for him. Let him speak. Okay. He feels like there's too much going on at once. Too many things going on. Way too many things going on. I can't juggle everything. I'm waiting for an opportunity to come. I can't. Oh, too much things. So for him, when the anxiety and there's too many things going on, he he can't think about doing things with you. Okay. He he just he just can't he just can't do it. You know. Um. He feels like at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, maybe that's why he took such a long time. But he feels like, you know, things are looking up. Things are starting to change for me. Things, I'm starting to move this forward. I'm coming, you know, like it's things are moving forward. And you know, to believe in yourself a little bit more. He wants you to believe in you a little bit more. Pay attention to the live feeds because that's the thing is that what is the live feeds telling you? You know, it's like there's feelings, but, you know, there's a progress of everything. It's about them telling the truth to themselves. That's their journey. You know, it's just their journey about it all. Embrace the sense of adventure as you look to the promises that have made yourself. I kind of feel like he is ready for this new adventure. He's ready for it. He's really ready for it. Um, he's been thinking about you a lot. So there's a lot of memories. There might be some past childhood wound between the both of you or, you know, um, for themselves that they need to, you know, heal and, and things like that. There's a lot of, you know, history, you know, between you two. I kind of feel like, you know, the both of you are trying to... Um, Fix maybe issues. Um, if you're a mirroring, if you've got children, or you know, 
you know, I kind of feel like, you know, there's an issue to do with children that they're trying to fix up. Okay, either their child or your child, there's, there's issues that needs to be healed and fixed up, you know, before there's movement forward. But I kind of feel like that all of that is kind of moving forward at this moment, you know. Um, he's starting to accept help from others and he's also trying to tell you that... Um, He might rest before he comes to you, yeah? He might sort of like, I just see him dreaming about you, like dreaming about this. You know, he's been so stressed about everything, you know, maybe worried about you moving on. Oh, I love this shit, this is beautiful. Wishes coming true. Wishes coming true, your wishes coming true. You're his wish. Look, celestial angels, the both of you together. Look at all the angels around you. There are angels all around you, yet you still feel alone. Let them guide you to a place of peace. I feel like a lot of them have been feeling alone. Very much alone. Very much alone, okay? So people can be with people and that means banana shit. If, you don't, if you're don't, if you not with a person that you love or somebody that you love, you know, you feel like crap. You feel alone. You feel, you know, that you have are going through the things together. So you could be like a whole bunch of people in, you know, in a room. What does that mean? You know, you know, he could be having threesomes and, and what? You know, that means banana crap, you know, because, you know, there's no, you know, connection there. Hmm? I'm not saying he's having threesomes. You know, I'm just saying that he, you know, he could be with people and it means nothing. He could be married and it means nothing. You know, he could have, you know, a partner in what? You know, or friends with benefit, what? Nothing. You know, stop thinking about certain things. If there's no love or connection between them both and you know the connection that you used to have, you know, pfft. You know, nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. So much love, so much blessings to everyone. Have a great and beautiful night. And um, I hope you like the reading. I hope that, you know, you got some kind of message out of this, you know, and Spirit, you know, was able to answer some questions. And um, I'm here every Monday, 6 o'clock, on Spiritual Events Directory. Please share and like my um my live feed and um and on thursday i will do a collective reading general collective reading for everyone so any personal readings just contact spiritual events directory and i'll look into your situation and um so much love and light to everyone keep warm bye everyone bye blessings bye everyone bye see you you're welcome welcome guys welcome